Hey guys, this is David from GB Canada. So I've been reading up a lot on the fact that a lot of people are unhappy with the Matrix Cold rendering. Um, I can see why people are having issues and I've basically just done things slightly different, kind of worked around it. Um, I'm just going to create a short video on what I do to get some better renderings. So what I generally do is let me load up a ring here. Okay, so I have a ring here. So, some few things you got to do with the model if you want good renderings is the seats need to be cut out. So, you can't have any metal underneath the gemstone or it's just the gems don't look right. They, they look dark, as some people have said. So, you got to make sure your, your stone's uh, seats are cut out or pilot holes are there. So, if I hide these gems here, you'll see I've already cut these out. Um, don't mind the model, it's just something I'm showing for rendering purposes. Uh, what I like to do, so I'll apply my materials using the Render Studios. If I click here, Render Studio, Materials. I'll apply all my materials using this. Okay, so let's say I want this all to be uh, white gold. So I'll select all the objects here that I want white. I'll use plate, uh, Platinum, Add Material. Then I'll select all the gems and then I'll make them diamond. Add material and then using the default settings. So if I go back to arcade, I think that's what it's defaulted as. And you hit render. Let me just change the passes here to 150 for now. Now the rendering time, I know some people complain that it's kind of slow. Uh, there's not much you can do with it. Most renderings are going to be like one, one to two minutes, uh, and it's just going to depend on your graphics card. So let me see here. Where is my render? Here. So I don't know if people are saying like they don't like these gems being like this dark here. So I'll give this a moment. Okay, so there's 150 passes. So if you want a faster render, you can do uh, less passes. But as you can see, 150 passes is the default, and that's one minute and 30 seconds. Okay. Now we can try to speed up the um, the render speed by just changing the ground plane. So rather than using a ground plane that is um, created by the render studio, what I can do is I can actually turn that off, and then I will create my own. So let's go here, rectangle, draw a large rectangle, planar. Uh, surface, drop this down, and I'll create my own. And what I think it likes is a um, metal material on the ground plane. So I'll go back up here, and what I like to do actually is I'll type materials in the command line, and then you'll get the Rhino menu. So as you can see here, we have this uh, Rhino material, and then I'll be in the materials tab. I prefer to kind of use the materials here because I find sometimes the they look a bit better or I'll get a little bit faster render times. So I'll click the uh, ground surface I created, I'll click add, and we can create a metal material or paint material. So let's say I want something glossy, so I'll go metal. So I'll just rename this to metal ground plane. And then change the color so let's say I want something dark and right now it's set to polished so let's say I'm happy with this I can go here into ray trace so again because this is using cycles render it's um, it takes more time so you need a pretty or fairly good computer to make this work but if you use ray trace you can see a live render 
Um, and then, let's see, should be a trace, yes. So, right now there's a polished uh, ground plane, okay? So let's say if I don't want it as polished, I'm just bring the uh, roughness up. And it should automatically adjust. If not, I can assign auto. Oh, there you go, because I didn't assign it. So, don't forget to right click on the material and assign to objects. And you can see it changed live. Now, I find that the gems that are in the render studio, when you do the ray trace and you try to render it live with ray tracing, the gems are um, solid. Um, so what I will do is actually go back into the materials here, and I'll add another um, gem. And this one's, I think, automatically set to diamond, as you can see here. So I'm gonna right click on the gem color so I can select all the gems right click on the gem in the materials and assign the object. Now you'll see a live rendering of the um, the gem themselves and I find these ones kind of look better as you can see just with the live. So this is kind of how I go about setting up my renders so I can see them live, add materials, take away materials, change things up. And if I'm happy with um, just kind of what it looks like. Let me just move this out of the way. What it looks like in my ray trace view. Then I'll go and I'll hit render. So let's see how fast this is. So again, so what I do is I actually just type in materials in the command line. I get the, um, oh, I can't do this anymore. I get the Rhino menus, so the material menu, and I'll just use the Rhino gem material, so which I find is a little bit better, and the ground plane. I'll use a uh, paint or metal and adjust the color in the material. So done. So this was a little bit faster at a minute and 12 seconds. Um, and you can see the results are quite different. I find this is a little bit nicer. So uh, I hope this is useful. And for those that haven't been able to get like renders um, to appear as they want it, maybe this may help using the ray trace and having a live render view. So that way you can do the adjustments and you can see the adjustments appear live. Thank you for watching.